Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of Angular, we will talk about template reference variable. Actually, we already used uh, this uh, template reference variable in previous videos. So why I am making a new video on it? There is a two reason. First reason is that uh, this topic is really important for interview questions. So we will discuss it in the detail. Second thing is that in previous video, we just used it. We did not discuss it in the detail. So obviously we will, in this, this is a specific video for template reference variable and we will discuss in the detail. So let's start with the point. First of all, we will uh, check out the use of the uh, template variable. Then we will make an input box. We will apply the uh, template reference variable over the input box and uh, we will use it. And at the last, we will discuss some important interview questions also. So what is the use of template variable? Uh, see, uh, let's say we have an input box and we want to get the properties of this input box and we want to get the attribute of this. So we have two ways to get it. One, uh, we can directly access from the DOM and second way, we can apply the reference variable over it and uh, we can easily get all the properties from it, right? And this is the easiest way also. So now let's see how we can do it. First of all, I am going to make here an input and let's uh, just simply define a hashtag and any name so this is the reference template reference variable so now let's see with that how we can get the values and other attributes of this uh, input box now let's define this button and let's simply write here click me and now let's apply a click event and with the click event let's call any function let's say get well or something and now within that function we can pass simply box dot value so let's say you want to get the value of uh, this input box so just put the uh, reference variable name and dot value and after that we have to define this function because we just called it from here right and now let's uh, put here any uh, item in parameter in any, any variable and it can be type will be uh, any for a moment but at the last i will tell you the exact type of this uh, reference type variable and now let's make a one and let's define here item and now you will find that we can easily get the value of this input box so uh, let's say i just put here hello inside it and now i'm clicking over it and here you can see that we got the hello so let's say if you did not pass here value then you will get the this uh, uh, text box completely so now let's see how we can get it so whenever i'm just clicking over it now you can see that we have the complete input box but there is a no value yet because we did not define yet uh, when just we created that value so if we just define some properties let's say placeholder uh, enter name or something it will also be visible but uh, if you just enter some uh, data let's say name or uh, uh, you just assign some id to it or you just put the value that time you you have to just mention specially mention like just box dot value box dot data or something that time you can get it and now you will find that the uh, statically defined things are just uh, visible here right so with that way we can uh, just get the values from or you can see that not even values we, you can see that the properties and attribute we can get from the input box with the help of reference type great all right so uh, now let's talk about the interview question so first question is directly that what is the use of reference type variable that time you can say that to get the properties or attribute of an input box we can use reference type uh, second thing is can we have any another way to get the values properties yes we can directly use the dom and uh, we can also use the listeners also there's a lots of way to use it right um so next question is, so let's say you are getting uh, the properties or attribute of uh, any input box with the help of uh, reference type variable, then what should be the type of this item? That time uh, it will be the HTML element, uh, HTML, it should be HTML input element, right? Because as you know, input type is a HTML input element. So if you have anchor tag, that time we will just assign here uh, HTML uh, input anchor or there is a lots of other uh, things also let's say a media element 
menu elements label elements links element for uh, uh, anchor tag and all we can also use these things according to our requirement so still it you will find that this is working fine <coughs> sorry guys so that's all for this video and thank you so much for watching this video